As this year comes to an end and we all start planning our new year resolutions, I have a little something to say to this past year. Dear 2016, wow, you were a tough one. At the end of every year, I always hear people saying how glad they are that it's over and how they can't wait for the new year. I never quite understood or related to this. I guess I never saw one single year as holding so much importance and value, but rather life being a continuous string of events that then creates a whole picture. After this year, I think I finally get it. You just seem to hold more value than past years. Every single day felt like a new life-altering event would occur, whether it just be in my own personal life or something that affected the entire world. Yet, I still don't feel anger or resentment towards you, and I'm definitely not wishing you away. As difficult as you may have been for all of us, you were important. Unfortunately, sometimes it takes bad things to happen to help us make the necessary changes for good things to occur. So. I want to say thank you. Thanks to you, I've explored new places and things which has then forced me to explore myself as a person. You've helped me grow more than many past years combined. I now know who I am and who I want to be and what truly matters to me. I have this goal in life that every year should always be better than the last. And you definitely made this pretty difficult. But having this mindset forces you to take these terrible things or maybe unexpected events and turn them into a positive, as difficult as that might be sometimes. So in the end, although you may have stolen some people's OTPs, put us through political hell, claimed the lives of endless innocent people, and even split up some people's favorite band. I still feel like this was the best year of my life thus far, and I am going to be sure that 2017 is even better. So thank you for being difficult, because without difficult times comes complacency, and I would just be stuck doing the same things and never be where I am today. So I accept the challenge to make 2017 the best year yet. And I hope you all join me in doing the same. I love you guys so much, and I know 2016 might have been the roughest one you've ever had for multiple reasons, but let's take all those hard times and let's use that for good and for positive purposes and make 2017 the best year ever. Now you guys know I love putting a positive spin on anything whenever I get the chance. So if you will please comment below what your favorite part of 2016 was and what you're most looking forward to in 2017, I would love to read them. I'm wishing you all the best year of your lives. I love you so much and thank you for watching. Bye.